In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Pressbooks content selector to bring content in to your LMS course, including content you can use with Pressbooks results. So I'm here in Canvas. The process will look slightly different depending on your LMS, but it's generally the same. Uh, inside of the module you want to insert activities into, we're going to click the plus button, and then we'll select external tool. From this list of choices, we're going to find the Pressbooks content selector. Here, I'm going to select Pressbooks content selector. And when I do, it's going to bring up a content selector that lets me choose from any of the available Pressbooks content that I have access to. You can expand this and make this a little larger, easier to see. Um, because I'm using Pressbooks results, I will definitely select the Pressbooks results viewer. And then I'll come down and find this graded chapter here at the bottom. So here I have a book that's been configured for grading. One of these chapters has been configured for grading. It's a graded assignment. The others are just linked resources. So I could just bring those in, it'll be regular links. And then when I'm done, I'll click select content. In this case, I brought in five links and the Pressbooks content selector. Once I've done that, you'll see these are just regular LTI links, but this one here is a graded assignment. And I know that it's a graded assignment in Canvas because it shows the assignment button and it shows that it's worth 10 points. At this point, uh, if I wanted to, I could come in and edit the assignment settings. If I wanted it to be worth something other than 10 points, for example, I might say, let's make it worth 15 points. I might put it in a special assignment group, and I might also choose to give a due date for this. Like I want students to finish this by November 30th, and then I could click Save and Publish. That's it. That's how you select content and bring it into the LMS. And again, in modules, you'll see, here's all the content that I brought in. I could repeat this process as many times as I want. The important thing is that if you want to create it as a graded assignment, you'll need to have configured it as an assignment before you bring it into your course.